Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is all about the auction process and what I'm gonna show you in this video is live when I bought my latest project for my daughter, Georgia, and we're gonna show you everything. We're actually gonna show you behind the scenes of the auction. I'm gonna go into detail on what happens. So what will happen is it will flip from this screen to a screen recording of when we did this. Now look, I wanna make sure that you get all the updates on this project and you can see what happens. And this channel is all about documenting the process of me expanding my portfolio and building a portfolio for my two daughters, Georgia and Emily. So while you're here, quickly before we jump into this content, do me a quick favor. Two things I'm gonna ask you, three things. One, smash the like button over there. Go on, do it now until it turns blue. Go on, won't hurt you, won't hurt you. Smash it till it turns blue. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. I'm back up there this Monday where we're going to be starting the renovation of this project. So you're going to get to see all of that stuff behind the scenes. So do subscribe and hit the bell and comment below. Let me know your thoughts or questions. I'll personally reply to all of them. Now that's enough from me. Go and check out this video. It's a longer one, but it's way worth it. I haven't seen anyone giving behind the scenes information like this. They all give the talk, but this one is showing you actually me buying a house. So go and see it now. Cheers, guys. Hey, my name is James Nicholson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to buy property at a property auction in the UK. Now, this is going to be in a live auction. I've got two lots that I'm potentially going to bid on here. So if you stick around to the end of this video, you will see whether I buy one of those properties or both of those properties. So you're going to want to see that. Now, it's quite a slow process at the moment. So while we're waiting for that to come in. I'm gonna teach you exactly what I've been doing over the last few days to make sure that I did as much due diligence as I can on these properties. So while you're here, join me on my property journey. Learn how I took 3,000 pounds and turned it into 1 million pounds worth of properties without doing all these ridiculous no money down deals and stuff like that. Just real property like investment, out and out development and all this kind of stuff that you want to learn. So while you're here, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Any questions that you've got, do comment below. I'll make a video actually to answer all your questions. Um, I'd love to really get to know what you guys want to know. Uh, and also, can you do me one last favor? Please smash that like button. Do it now. Smash the like button because that really helps me. That What it does is it helps me with YouTube get it out to more people. So, let's look at today's auction. So, what we're doing today is we're looking at a company called Taylor James Auctions up in, uh, I think they're up in Birmingham, right? And so, they've got a couple of properties in Doncaster that I'm looking at at the moment. So, we've got this one, which is 95 Staveley Street, Edlington, Doncaster, DN12 1BW. I can share that with you because by the time you see this video, it will be sold or not, um, as the case may be. And so what we're looking at here is uh, a, this one is two bed, uh, no, three bed. It's a three bedroom house, mid terrace. Um, it's already got a tenant in there. So it's already got a tenant in there at £5,200 per year. So let's just quickly do some maths on that. I'm terrible at maths, guys. Need a calculator. £430 a month in rent, right? So there's £430 in rent there, which is pretty good uh, for the Doncaster area. But they're saying you could put it up to £6,000. Um, so they're saying that realistically you should be getting around six, which is £500 a month, which sounds about right with my comparisons that I've looked at in Doncaster. Um, and so 500 sounds good to me. Right. And so this property has a guide price of £10,000. And what that means is that the property must sell 10% above or below that. So we know that the reserve price is going to be no more than £11,000. Now, often the guide price is just low just to get more people interested and in bidding on this, right? So we're on Wednesday, the 9th of March, 2022. It's 11 o'clock. This auction started at around 8, or not around 8, it started at 8 o'clock, right? So if I click bid now, I can see that this one currently is at 13 thousand pounds currently at thirteen thousand pounds now let's have a look down here a little bit more at this um do we have any more pictures on this no 
right? So we don't have much to go from here, guys. Now, you also couldn't view this property. The reason for that was because there is a tenant already in the property and they don't want hundreds of landlords coming around and disturbing them. So you're buying a property without seeing. But I've got a little trick for you, so stick around. I'm going to show you how I can find more pictures of this property and show you what it looks like inside. So you want to watch that in a second, right? So we can see where it is. What other information have we got? It's saying it needs some updating. It's got a, a rear back garden. Uh, these are typical terrace houses up north, um, and they have like a little concrete back garden uh, that normally has a little out shed, like a concrete out or brick built out shed that probably was a toilet back in the day that people use for storage and stuff like that. Um, fees. Um, the auctioneer's fees are a thousand pounds on that. So on completion of this, if you were to bid and to win, you need to pay 10% straight away today. Um, at the moment, that would be 1300 pounds. It's probably going to go for a lot more than that. Um, so we've got one hour, 11 minutes on this auction. So we'll keep going and we'll keep watching this one till the end. Uh, but we've got one hour, 11 minutes. So let's do some more research on this and find this property and find more details. So the auctioneer hasn't really given us much here, right? We're going to go into legal packs and stuff in a sec, so we'll have a look at that. But I want to really know, first and foremost, what does this place look like? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go to Google, put in the property address uh, on Zoopla. I'll take a postcode, I might need that again. So Zoopla is a really good site. Um, and it will give you some information here. So what number are we looking at? 95, right? So we're going to look here. So these are all the properties in Staveley Street and the prices that they've sold for and the estimated prices, right? So we can see not much selling recently. This one sold um, for a free bed house. So let's just give that a look for a comparison here. We've got a free bed house, right? Uh, and so we can see here. Let's have a look here. This one sold for, how much did it actually sell for? Sold 2021, last year, for 65000 So let's have a look at this here and see what it looks like. Cool. It's not bad. Like a little bit uh, too cluttered, but um, all in all, looks all right, doesn't it? Um, you, you, I mean, you can't tell exactly without looking around it, but there's not loads that needs doing. But you could make that a little nicer, possibly. Um, and that one was going for 420. They had a current rent of 420 in there. Cool. So that one uh, is is a comparable there. So let's have a look at. Or let's get to uh, 95, which is our one that we're looking at here today. Nearly there. Let's find number 95. Next page has got to be, right? So, 90. Here we go. 90s. 95. Now, this is where we can get some good information. So, let's see. This one is currently at 13,000. It's definitely going to go for more than that. But, let's just see. 95, right? So, they estimate Zoopla that it's worth 46. Um. They reckon it's gone up 17%. So Northern properties don't go up so much. But they do cash flow very well. The yield on the rent is very, very high. Right? So let's have a look. Now, somebody was trying to sell this. This is very interesting stuff. If you're going to bid on an auction, very e interesting and useful to know, have they tried to sell the house recently? Because maybe they put it on the market and... It didn't sell for some reason, right? So here we go. October, that's six months ago, it was on the market for just £40,000. Very interesting. Now, let's have a look here. Now, we can see the house next door is boarded up. Not great. Possibly we could buy that. Would be good. Um, and do both up here. Um, but look, now we've got some pictures inside. This is really, really clever, right? Uh, and so now we've actually got some pictures inside the property which we didn't have and it's all right it looks all right to me um the kitchen definitely needs some work here but you could get a decorator out to fix that i mean the tiles are there the, the cabinets are there it's a bit grubby 
that's not a big job though it's not not a big big job that needs to be done here right uh, and so that decorating maybe that's done maybe the tenant was halfway through when these pictures were done or actually no it's not i thought it was just a weird pattern wallpaper definitely it's uh, been taken off bathroom looks solid probably needs a clean um but all, all this stuff is is like not stuff to really worry about right garden doesn't look great but you can get that sorted for a couple of grand, a grand maybe as well. So here's the thing. This was trying to be sold by the modern method of auction, right? Which is what some estate agents do to get higher fees. And what they're looking at here is they're looking to put a fee that will probably be around six grand. So if you bought this here, yeah, six grand. So the minimum fee for a modern auction is normally around 6,000 pounds. So if you bought that, you'd pay 40,000 to buy it but you'd also pay £6,000, the seller doesn't pay the estate agent fees, right? You're going to pay the estate agent fees in this instance. So we know here, great, this is a really, really solid property. Like we can see inside, I don't have too many concerns about that for now. Right, now we need to look at some other stuff. So that's how you can get more images and really find some detail stuff. I mean, that's really handy to know. You'd be crazy to bid above 40,000 when they were willing to accept that before, so if that makes sense. Yeah, give me a comment in the in the chat if that makes sense to you guys. Um, so that's really, really useful, right, to know. Very useful information. Because if people start bidding 50 grand, you know, cool, it wasn't quite worth 50 grand six months ago. What's changed? Nothing. They couldn't sell it at 40. It means people are just getting a bit excited in the auction as well. Right, let's have another quick thing here that I want to look at as well. Um, and so if you take the postcode, I'm going to open up another tab here. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Okay, so at the bottom of a listing, right? So this is that listing with those pictures. Right, at the bottom, there's this green part here. You can see how much a home is worth. Put the postcode in. Look up the postcode. You can put in. Well, you could put in next door, right? This is what I want to do here. And just see how much are these other ones worth? Okay, so next door is worth potentially sixty-two thousand, right? And these are these are estimates, but I'm trying to see if they had a listing of that. It's not on the market at the moment, so let's have a look for another one. Okay, so let's have a look. So we're 95, let's just go 97. 63,000, has this been on? No. Okay, let's go different number here. Let's go 89. Sold, okay, so we can see it sold it for that price. Actually, here's some. here's an easier thing to do. Here's, sold properties nearby on Staveley Street, right? So let's look for some recent ones. So this one sold for uh, in August last year for 50 grand. So let's see, what, what was that like? How good condition was it? Because if it was in really good condition, then ours isn't worth 50. And it is, that's in decent condition there, isn't it? Really nice. That's a good rental, that one. That's a good little renter. So that one's um, an indication to us that it probably isn't, definitely isn't worth much more than 40 because you've got to do it up. You've got to fix it up as well, potentially. Obviously, you've got a tenant in there. They might be happy with it, but probably not. Um, they're going to want to tell you about stuff that needs sorting. So let's have a look here. Okay, let's look at this one. So this sold in April last year. This one needs some work. Cool, so that's probably a similar, oh, the kitchen's better than our one. Um, but it needs some work, right? And definitely new carpets uh, and a few bits to sort out there. So it's interesting, right? So we can see here, this one sold for 50. So we've got to be aware of that, right? We've just got to be aware. So what I want you to do is if you're bidding way before, so I've done all of this like last week, right? Um, so that was really, really important. So 95 Stavely Road Street, we are, oh look, someone's bid now, so we're up to 14,000 pounds. Let's see where that gets to by the end of this video. So let's look at the next one. So this one is the one that I'm more interested in, 
Um, I'm more interested in this. This doesn't have a tenant currently. So let's find out some information on this one. Same again. We've got one picture and the plans on the street where it is. However, you've got to dig around here and let's have a look here. Virtual tour. Let's click on this. The reason why 99% of match bettors don't make more than like a grand a month okay, mate. is because they don't read between the Get lines. Really they this just do... advert. Okay, so let's just quickly watch this video tour on this property and see what we think. And in the comments, you tell me, what do you think? Have you noticed anything here? So we want to be looking out for things like, are there cracks? Is there mold in there? And you can see this stuff from videos. It's better to go and view this. So I've viewed this property myself, but you also can see this stuff from the video if you couldn't get there. This is better than nothing. Going there, there's nothing better than that though, right? But look, there's no real cracks in the wall here, which is pretty good. That little fl flat roof here, that might get some problems in the future, but that's not a big job, is it? It's not a very big area there. Definitely be nice to paint the windows. Uh, you probably take those windows out at some point anyway. Right, let's have a look. Cool, so if you have a look in here, no mold in there. Looks like it's flooring in there, carpet's been taken up, that's fine. We'll get a new carpet in there. Kitchen, yeah, that's coming out. <laughs> Probably need plaster on that fireplace as well. Um, you, you, yeah, it just needs a new, like a totally new refurb in that kitchen. That's about 2,000 pounds, maybe a little bit more. Um, we're not talking about getting the best units in a way. £3,000 tops. Stairs, new carpet, 100% on here. These are these typical one step down to one room to the other that you get in Doncaster. Okay, so we need a new bathroom. That's £2,000. So we're looking at potentially £5,000 for kitchen and bathroom. That's very doable, guys, um, if you don't get the best of the best. Um, obviously, we need a liquor paint here, so we need to redecorate that. That's 1,500 quid to redecorate a two-bedroom house. Um, this is a two-bedroom house, this one. Um, so, yeah, you should be able to get it decorated for 1,500 quid. Um, and then, yeah, new carpets, 1,500 quid as well. So we're looking at eight grand, but we also want two grand for extras because things happen right you're gonna have things like maybe the boiler has an issue or, or, or something like that all right so let's just say conservatively 10 grand worst case scenario 15 grand to get this property back ship shape in a lettable condition there's not really many issues that you can see there now obviously you've got to do your due diligence you need to view these properties but that was useful that they had that there let's have a look at this one see how it's going so far 35 grand we've got here let's see the history we've got a number of bids a number of bids in here um and so these first ones i think were probably the auction house bidding up it's actually legal believe it or not for an auction company to bid against for, like to put fake bids in they do it in live rooms and they do it online just to get some activity going because no one in the world if you're bidder one and you've bid 15 grand why are you going to bid 25 grand when you're already winning you're going to need the next person this this is a real bid well, that's that can't be real there's no way that that's real why would you bid 10 grand more when you were already winning the auction very strange but it's one thing that that, that is legal to do right so we've got one hour five minutes uh, left on this one hour five minutes so this is going to end at 12 22 potentially okay right so this property um here again we've only got those two pictures so what we do is we take the address we put this in here i just write the word zoopla sometimes it comes direct to the page if it doesn't i'm just going to take the postcode Gonna go on here. This is 87 Burton Avenue. Right, we can scroll down here and find 87. Let's find that next page, hopefully. Here we go, one more page and we're there. 
If you're finding this useful so far, this will be a longer video today. Do give me a like. I want to give you more details than anyone else does because so many people, they just say, this is how you buy from auction. They sit in a chair, talking head, tell you what's going on. I think this is really practical and hopefully very useful for you guys to actually get this stuff figured out and see a real auction happening and see what we're doing here. So 87 Burton Avenue in Doncaster. Right, let's see here. Now, last time it was sold was for £48,000. Now, we are currently at £35,000, which is good, right? Now, we know that... Which one are we on, sorry? Let's get rid of these. Cool, so we know that this was sold for £48,000. Before that was 1999 for £20,000, right? Now, someone tried to sell it. Remember last time we got this as well. So before they put it in the auction, they've tried to sell it through an estate agent but it hasn't sold guys has it uh, and so we can see here the archived lifting listing this is why i love zoopla um and so we we on this auction house have got one image now we've got the video which was useful but look let's have a look they've got all the pictures when they tried to sell it and this had this is that house this is that one we saw in the video they cleared it out that's useful because if i just saw this zoopla i would have been thinking ah jesus i'm gonna have to get a whole skip just to get rid of all the crap in there, but it's gone, which is good. It's an empty, vacant property, which is exactly what I want. The video as well didn't show the back garden, right? Which is this very typical back garden, like little patio, and then there's alleyways down the back, which is where the bins go and stuff like that, right? So decent. This is decent, this one, guys. So let's see, how are they trying to sell it? Just normal, not an auction. It wasn't the modern method of auction or anything like that. It was with a company called Strike. So how did I get to understanding more about this? Well, here's what I did. Firstly, I called Strike last week um, and I asked them, why didn't it sell? Did you get any offers on it? Um, all of that kind of stuff. So I wanted to know really what was going on there. Um, they just said it just wasn't wasn't getting viewings, wasn't getting offers. Uh, and so the person needed the cash. So they pulled it out and they want to use an auction, right? Um, and so it wasn't on for long because it was in November. Then it was probably the problem for them was it was probably coming up to Christmas. Everyone's focused on other stuff, not buying developments or uh, buy to let properties or houses for themselves, right? So that's decent to know that. Now they wanted 65 then. So we wouldn't pay in this auction today any more than 65. No way, right? Because they were going to take 65. So let's have a look um, down the bottom here. Let's see what else. Um, is selling around that so let's just look up the house we go to oh 87 and then we'll scroll down here and let's see the property sold nearby right so burton street next door has sold for seventy-seven thousand pounds so let's have a look at this let's have a look sold seventy-seven five hundred. brilliant how did it sell? Well, it took a while to sell because it was listed in April. Didn't sell to October, so it's a bit of a slower market. Even though they're telling you it's a fast market around at the moment, um, it took a while to sell. So it was listed for 85, but they took an offer of 77. Now someone's selling it already. Why are they selling it? I don't know. They were selling it for less as well. Oh, oh this, sorry, this is the next door one. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. Confusing myself, right? Um, so this is next door. This is all... So look. That's our house here. This one here is ours. Right? This one sold for 77000 Now, if we have a look, there's not much difference in it. It's a little bit more presentable at the front because it's got the white windows. This can be painted very cheaply. You could do it yourself for literally the cost of the paint if you wanted to, right? It's, it, you don't have to spend a fortune. Decent kitchen. I like that kitchen. Nice big space. Clean. That's all right, right? They've, they've, they've clearly put a few quid onto that. That's a decent kitchen there. Bathroom. Uh, sorry, living room. Floor looks all right. Um, looks like it's been decorated. I probably wouldn't have gone for this dark color, um, but who cares, right? It's fine. Like, this is an out toilet. Probably no one uses that because it's freezing in there, it looks like. <laughs> so that'll be in there somewhere. A lot of these houses that up north have those. Um, so these are what the outside areas are normally like. Our garden's probably very similar to this. Uh, we have These have got more pictures, so it's useful for us. Look at this. Carpet isn't good. 
They haven't changed the carpet, but they still got 77. So we know if we have a better carpet, we decorate it more, and the market's gone up, we could probably get 80,000 for ours if it was done up. This bathroom isn't new either. Look at the old floor. They've just sold it with the original bathroom in there, which is really useful. Same here, no carpet. Uh, that well, it needs a new carpet. Hasn't really been decorated, so they haven't done lots to this, right? Which is brilliant for us. Really, really good positive news there. So we can see like other other ones along the street. So let's see any 2021s. Okay, this one was cheaper, but it's only two bed. Oh, we're two bed. We're two bed. Um, Where's the details on that? No details. So it wasn't listed on Zoopla, right? So we haven't got, sometimes we can't get the details, right? So that's what we want to do, right? We want to go through and do that. Next was legals, right? So legals, there's loads of these legal packs that you've got to read and download and stuff like that. Um, I spent a day doing this on both these properties, one whole day. And it's going to tell me things like, sometimes they have um, really like important information that you need to know. Now this one here, this house you've got to complete in um, 10 days, which is really short for an auction, right? 10 days. Very short. I don't know why. Also, they have some extra fees in there. They can put extra fees in there. They want six grand extra, right? Six grand extra which is crazy, right? So you've got to know that stuff because you, you, you've got to know that, okay, whatever I bid, I'm going to get a fee of six grand on top of that, right? Very, very important to know that. They can put anything they want in there. Um, you also got to know things like, is there mines and mine shafts in the way? Is it the risks of flooding? So one of these documents has a risk of flooding. One of them has something that um, is called the chancel, chan chancel check chancel right and so i uh, got that and and so it says that in that area if the church requests money for repairs it can do it off houses it's an old ancient law now very unlikely that that will happen um and it gets challenged if it does but it's still a risk so the mortgage company will look at that and say ah Okay, I'm not so comfortable with that. So you know that if it's got that, you can get insurance, which isn't lots. It's like 50 quid, the insurance, for 25 years. 50 quid for 25 years. So you just get insurance that if there's ever a, a claim from the, the, the church, that your insurance will pay for it, right? And then the, the mortgage company is happy. But if you don't know that, then you might have problems. Because with, with an auction, you need to either buy with cash or you need to buy with a bridging loan and then put it onto a mortgage later. And you might not get it back onto a mortgage if there's lots of problems, right? Now, I paid this company some money. And what they do is they can basically, they're connected with the auction houses. Um, and so what they can do is they can see that this is the one I'm doing. I'm in this one, Taylor James Auctions. Right, and it's got all the lots in here, all of these lots in here that are people are bidding on today. And then you can view the lot and it will tell you information like local comparables and if they've got anything like that. Now, if you pay them £100 plus that, so 120 these guys will, they're like a solicitor firm, they will go through the legal pack for you. I've paid for that for both of these properties. So let's have a look here. So, Burton, this is the one that we're more interested in. It will tell me all sorts of things in here, right? So it will highlight risks and stuff like that. Uh, it's got important risks. Uh, and then I can deal with those, which I've dealt with some of these with solicitors prior to bidding, rather than going in blind. Now, this is one thing that it said. The seller isn't registered on the land registry. They actually are. It's just not in the legal pack. But I bought from the land registry for three pounds, the title deeds. And um, so I can see that they are, the person is registered um, and, and stuff like that. It, it covers all the fees that are in here. So look, if I want to buy this house, there are fees. So I've got to pay £6,000 here, right? And searches, £6,600. So I've got to factor that into my bid, right? I don't want to go crazy here and start bidding seventy grand when other houses on that street have sold for seventy, 
but I've got to pay six grand in fees on top, right? So hopefully that makes sense. So that's it, really. That's all I've got to show you on the due diligence. There's lots of more stuff. Though. While you're here, make sure you do subscribe to this channel. I'm going to show you my property journey. Currently, this house or one of these or two of these houses, let's see. We'll see by the end of the video. I'm buying with my daughter. Uh, so my daughter's called Georgia, uh, and, and so I'm getting her a property portfolio now. So I took £3,000 to a million. That's my property portfolio for my investments. Not I'm not talking about the house that I live in. That's separate, right? So my property portfolio I took from three grand to a million, and that's what I'm going to do for her, right? So that's what we're working on now uh, is building out her property portfolio. Then I've got another baby called Amelie, um, which I'm going to be doing this as well. So if you join me on this channel, you can see the journey on how we do this. So subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Like this video. Comment below with let, let me know what you thought so far. Surely this has given you more value than any other property auction video you've ever seen to date. So even if it's just a thanks or any questions, comment below, guys. Please, because that helps me with YouTube, right? More comments means more views on YouTube and I can help more people, right? That's it. I'm going to pause the video now and we will come back. Let's have a quick look where we are on this. I know you might want to see like what's going on. So let's refresh the page on this one. So this is the one we're more interested in. This is at 35,000. It's got various bidders on here. Remember these first two, I don't think they're real. So I think this is where the real bidding started here. So we're up to 35 grand here. This one... 95 is got 59 minutes left. Exciting. This one's gone up a lot, 33,000 pounds now. So a lot more interest in this one. Uh, let's see the bids. Um, so bidder one, I just think that's the, I just don't trust this bidder one. <laughs> but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this one started all right. So it's got some, some bids in there. So we'll come back to this uh, shortly. And we'll see how it's getting on. And do I buy one of these properties or do I buy both of them? See you in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. See how this auction is coming on. It's been extended a few times um, when bids are coming in. So we have two properties that we're looking at. We have this one. Let's do a refresh. 95 Staveley Street in Doncaster. Now, we're at £41,000. Can't remember where it was at where we last looked with you guys. Uh, but we're at £41,000. A few bids coming in there. Um, not much activity for a while. I think people are waiting now just to see what happens until it gets down to the last final few minutes. So, 30 minutes left on here. And on this one, um, which is the, the one that we prefer out of the two... It's going for slightly less, which is good, but doesn't mean much until the final countdown, right? Uh, so this one, 87 Burton Avenue, uh, this is the one without the tenant um, legals and, and, and stuff are a lot clearer on this one. I just think it's a more solid investment. Um, now this one, we're at £40,000. We've got 32 minutes, so slightly longer, and uh, yeah. Um, bidding has been going up slowly in a thousand pound increments for a while so we'll see we've got 15 bids on that one we've got um, 15 bids on this one uh, and so I was just having a look at some of these as well this one here uh, let's just look at one what happened at the end of this one this is one that I was just watching I wasn't gonna buy this but I just wanted to see what was gonna happen at the end and see with this auction house um, like how quick bids were coming in and stuff like that. So we've got four minutes left on this one. 49 people supposedly watching. But that doesn't mean that they're sitting in front of their computer ready to bid because they might have like just the tab open. So it looks like someone just bid there um, because we got a little bit of extra time. So um, yeah, we're at £65,000 now. They've got 59 bids. So when did the bidding get a bit more exciting? Let's have a look here. So, well, now pretty much. So people are starting to bid now, really. There was a little bit of a flurry of activity um, just before the hour. Uh, but it's, it's starting to get a bit more uh, bids on there. So uh, that one might get some, uh, some more bids on, on that one. Um, this isn't one that we're, we're going to bid on, but let's have a look at it. Um, I think this one looks quite good. I just didn't look at this, haven't looked at Legal Pack, um, but it looks all right. It looks all right to me. 
obviously there's work needing to be done, but nothing major. Um, decorating carpets and stuff like that, that's all good. Easy stuff. Roof looks decent. Obviously, you can't tell. Um, there's a video tour of this one. Let's should we have a look at that? Um, and we can see if we've got any more bids on it after. Let's have a look at I this. would like you to become wealthy through property, just Let's like I am. How do you do that then? Well, okay. So look at the top. Looks like an all right street. Parking, nice cars. Typical suburban street, really, isn't it? Fine by me, that sort of property. That's what we want. These are good rental properties. It looks like it's a bit dated. That's good too. Like, easy to fix this sort of stuff here. Might take that wall out, actually, when you walk in here on the left, if it was me, to make that a bit more open plan, if it didn't cost too much to do that. So nice, big living room. Um, I don't know what they have, all these little things in the corners. <laughs> it's loads of stuff, just wasted space. I'd probably smash a lot of that out. So this is a living room, dining room on this property here. So you probably, yeah, you need to change the carpets. You need to decorate it. You you, you do well to a mm, little bit potential damp in that little spot there, um, but probably not too major. Very, very dated. See the damp there. Is that damp? I'm not sure. A little nook there. Under stairs. Decent sized kitchen for these sort of properties. That's pretty big. Nice. So, I think you'd probably rip that kitchen out and get a new one, to be honest. It's a bit dated, isn't it? So, then you go through to the... Definitely needs a bit of work in there, doesn't it? go through to the back here bathroom is uh, so that's the door to the garden and then you have a little bit more storage there in the bathroom let's have a look at this yeah you want to change that get a new bathroom in there nothing too special but windows look alright everything else looks alright a little bit of damp on there but that's the bathroom so that can happen, you can fix that stuff easy enough. And um, potentially there was a bit of damp on the wall there. Here's the garden, standard terrace house, garden. Just needs a clean up, doesn't it? Nothing major there. You could do that yourself. One or two people could do that in a, in a couple of days. Uh, not lovely carpet, <laughs> so we'd, we'd probably change that carpet, I'm sure. Um, Let's have a look here. So you go into uh, this little box room, which is over the kitchen, I think. Definitely new carpets in here. Decorate that. Nothing major though. It's nothing too, nothing too scary in there. And then let's see, what's this? Another upstairs toilet. That's useful. That adds some value. Okay, up on here. So this is the second bedroom. This is just really typical of these terrace houses. Nice little bedroom here, easy to fix that. Probably needs new electrics in this house. They look quite old there. So you probably need a full rewire. You've got to put that into your, your budget on this, but that's fine. Then let's see. Little cupboard above there. Oh, looks like there's a room to the left here. I know, cupboard. So that's a small little cupboard. Those sorts of things are handy though, right? Um, good storage and stuff like that, which people like, families like if you're renting, not renting, renting out to families. That's pretty good as well. So decent sized room there, easy fixes, rip it up. Get the, <laughs> you might need a little bit of plaster on there. Decorate it. You'd have the upstairs done like in a week if you'd worked really hard on that. Nothing major there. Kitchen, bathroom. Um, you could do this 10 grand, I reckon. I reckon you could do this for 10 grand. So that looks all right. Should we have a quick look on this one? I might not watch this to the end because it keeps extending and extending and extending. Uh, we've got two minutes, so let's just see. Let's just check my ones as well. So I haven't bid on my ones yet, um, just as well. So I haven't bid on them. And the reason for that is you can see, like, when you start bidding, then it just 
bids the price up. Everyone goes against each other. And yeah, you don't really want that to happen. So I haven't bid on these properties yet. Um, we've got 28 minutes left on this one. This is the one with the sitting tenant um, that generates uh, £430 a month roughly. And you can get it up to 500 And this one here is let's see is it definitely on 40 still yeah so this one's at 40 this is the one i prefer out of the two um and hopefully we'll get one of these two uh sorted today i really like this one hopefully fingers crossed there's not too many people bidding but we've got how many people watching 32 watching that one we've got 27 people watching that one but what might happen is the people might come across from this one so this one here it's got 50 people watching it so when this finishes they might move their attention across to the next lot uh, so we might see some people increasing there we'll see all right we'll see how that goes so this one's got two minutes and 35 is there anything I can show you for that time just to see if we do finish that let's have a look um, so it shows you roughly where that is if you don't know where Grimsby is it's obvious it's uh, across to the right from Sheffield down slightly from Leeds um, so yeah it's uh, probably from London four hours four and a half hours if you drove uh, but there's a lot of direct trains going up to nearby towns and stuff like that so you can get across to like Sheffield and Doncaster pretty easy and make your way across um, let's see what additional info they've got. It's got an EPC of D. So EPC is the Energy Performance Certificate. Now that's a consideration because in 2025 we've got to have it as a C to be able to rent it out, which is what I would be looking to do. So you can do, improve that with insulation in the loft, new boilers. There's lots of things that you can do uh, to, to do that. Uh, these were all the viewing dates so if you were ever looking on an auction they have normally open house viewings they don't want to do just like one at a time um, so they'll put a date you can call them and let them know you're coming sometimes you don't need to even let them and um, let this one you do not need an appointment to attend so you can just rock up there if you could have rocked up there on the 5th of March um, for the, and they've got a half an hour window that it's open and so I've been to these sorts of things and uh, you probably get 20 30 people looking around some people are gonna bid some people are not so we're getting down to the last two minutes on this one what's gonna happen guys is it gonna sell for 65 or is it gonna go up what else can we look at I know what we can do um, we can have a look oh, oh, this one wasn't on Zoopla or right move actually I had a look so it was the information that I can see on here that it last sold in June 2021 right so it sold for 69,000 so it's going for less at the moment than it originally sold for now they think that it's worth these you've got to take a massive pinch of salt um, but there Zoopla is estimating that it's worth 92,000 um, let's see and there is what is the road fair brother road what is it 19 13 sold for 79 let's have a look at that one can we see it was it on Zoopla no it wasn't on Zoopla if it's not listed on Zoopla we can't see pictures but there's others selling on the street for more right um, which is a good sign 40 seconds left guys let's see is anyone going to bid last minute or are they going to sell this one is it going to sell for 65 oh 66 someone's bid now it's going to go on even longer so 67 there's bids coming in they're all coming in the last few seconds sighting 68 is it gonna go up anymore 69 blimey seventy I reckon you reckon seventy Oh, there's another bid come in, I think. So we've got 40 seconds left. People can consider now. I reckon, what do you reckon, guys? I reckon, tell me in the chat. 70? Bet. Put a little comment in there, even before uh, we know. I reckon this will go for £70,000. I reckon there's one more bid in there that someone's going to go for. 
Um, so let's see, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, sight in, sight in, sight in. Are they gonna get it? <laughs> I'm excited for these people. I don't even know who's bidding on it. Um, but <laughs> it's kind of fun, right? So we got 10 seconds left. Is it gonna go for 70? Come on. Give us another bid, guys. Give us another bid. Current bid. What's happened here? Checking the bidding status. Right, cool. They're just confirming the bids now. So that might take a little while. Uh, so I'm going to stop the video here. Um, let's just... Oh, it, let, there we go. Sold. Sold for £69,000. Who got it? Bid at 11, whoever they are. Bid at 11. There's 63 bids on that one. Right now, people might roll over to my auctions. Hopefully not. Hopefully they're done. It's lunchtime, guys. Go and get some lunch. Leave mine alone. Um, so my one is at forty-one thousand um, pounds. Remember the last one? There was a lot of activity, little flurries of activity at the end. What's this here? Um, this user's bid was automatically outbid. Uh, okay, right. So someone's put like a higher bid in. Um, so cool. Um, these these ones here are uh, uh, this one is at 41 this is the one we want guys hopefully no one's bidding on this one give me a break right we're at 40,000 pounds on this one we've got 27 minutes left 27 minutes left so we'll stop this video here and we will join this back in the last three or four minutes so you can see what's going on see you in a minute Oh, let's set you into the last few minutes of the auctions. I've been watching this one, actually, which I saw, which I wish I um, had followed. It, it's in an area which I would have bought in, but I didn't quite see it as in my area. Um, so this one's got a few seconds left. Uh, this is this whole huge house here, including this back bit here. Uh, it's, it's a big, big, big refurbishment project, repossession, um, but lots of potential in that property there. Um, and with the last few seconds, we've got it at 54,000 pounds, which is crazy, right? 55, um, what do we think this will go for, guys? Tell me in the comments, uh, put something in there. Let's just have a guess, even if you're uh, <laughs> watching the replay or whatever, uh, put it in the comments here. I reckon this will go for 58, what do you reckon? Comment below, I reckon 58,000 for this one. Let's just quickly check um, these two here. So this is the one, two that we're interested in. This one's at 41, uh, this one is at, 59 so let's go back to this one the last few seconds on this one guys um it's exciting i tell you very sh stressful auctions you've got to not buy with emotions though and, and buy with like your figures you've got to know roughly how much it costs for a refurbishment and what the end value will be on that property that's very very important that you do that because i've seen some properties in this auction uh well this one's going uh, for more than i thought i've seen some properties in this auction here just quickly check the times on this We've got two minutes there, four minutes there, so we're good. Um, I've seen some properties going for more than you could have bought them previously from an estate agent. And you probably could have haggled and offered with that estate agent as well. Um, so that means when the valuer comes around, when you want to put it on a mortgage to get your money back out, they're going to look at Zoopla. They're going to see what it was on the market for. And potentially, that could mean that you miss out um on something there so uh do obviously make sure you buy with formulas guys not with emotions this one's got 40 seconds let's keep an eye on these two here um so cool 40 seconds 30 seconds it's gone for more than i thought um so let's just see everyone's messaging me now whatsapp every my daughter her boyfriend everyone wants to know what's going on with the auction today um <laughs> So here we go, 20 seconds. These timers can change though, so I wanted to make sure the two I'm actually interested in and uh, nothing changes with those. So what do we think, guys? What do you think this will go for? We've got 10 seconds. You'll get a couple more bids here, I reckon, this one, because this is a big potential. So now I'm going to revise my I, uh, amount, I reckon. So I haven't done any research on this. I'm just guessing. For the fun of it, 68 grand. What do you reckon? Comment below. See, look, the timer goes up slightly every time there's a bid. Right, so let's have a look at these two while we're waiting on that, because that, that time I will probably continue. Three minutes left here. And we've got 59 grand here with five minutes. So where are we at on this one? 
This one's still getting some bits. I'm I'm guessing 68 grand. So put in the chat a guess in the comments below the video. Put in a guess for me, guys. Um, 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 8 seconds. Is that it? Is there going to be one more bid? 66. See, then we've got another timer. Now we've got to be careful because these timers are going down as well. So... Let's see. Let's see here. I've got also a call with my academy members. So I want to make sure these guys can, uh, they're going to be able to jump on and see what we're doing here. Um, so we've got 16 seconds. It's up to 66,000. This one has got three minutes left. Cool. Okay. So six seconds, five seconds, four seconds. This is going to be it, isn't it, guys? The end is here. No, sixty-seven thousand pounds. Still going through. We got thirty seconds again. What is going to happen here? What is going to happen here? Is it going to sell, guys? This time round. Twenty-eight seconds. Eighteen seconds. I said sixty-eight. I reckon this might sell for sixty-seven now. Spinning the slow down on this one. Let's just quickly check my two um, here. We've got three minutes left on that one. Um, we have five minutes left on this one. So let's see. Sold sixty-seven thousand. Perfect. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to let my academy members join us now. And we'll be back on in a sec to see the end. Cool. All right, guys. So this is the last 40 seconds, 50 seconds we've got. So this is one we were interested in. Now, this one, I don't think we'll bid on this. And the reason for that was it was on Zoopla for 40 grand. Um, I might not have time because we're getting a bit stressful here with the time coming to an end. So that one, just check in. I'm flicking between tabs because I want to check I've got time. I'm interested in this one still. Um, so this one here was actually on Zoopla for 40 grand in October. I don't really understand why people are bidding more than it was on there for. You can find deals. I think some people are just getting a bit carried away with their emotions on this. Uh, so for me, it's probably not a good deal now. So we've got eight seconds left, £47,000. Um, and yeah, it's it's probably gonna go. Is it, no, it's extended. So when it extends, let's just check this one's extending because I want to bid on this. Um, when it extends, um, it's because someone's put a bid. We can see the bid history here. So they're bidding in increments of a thousand. This auction house doesn't allow you to bid in five hundreds. I would like to bid in five hundred if it was me. But I'm not interested in this one. But I would prefer to bid in a smaller amount, which you can in some places. Now, this one here means that they bid, they bid like by an auto bid. So they this bidder six has said, right, I'm willing to pay like 40 grand or whatever. And then it auto bids for them. What's going on here? Um, so it, it, it's auto bidding for that person when it's got a question mark on there. So I think that's going way too much, that one. Um, let's see this one here. So this. So I've got my academy members here. They're being very patient. I'm meant to have a call with them now, and this was meant to have finished at like eleven thirty, and it's carried on, carried on, and carried on, and carried on. Um, Dorothy, we're I'm just finishing an auction rather than delaying the call again. So I'm actually bidding. Well, I haven't bid at all yet. Um, I'm looking at the two properties. This one's just sold for forty-nine thousand um, pounds, which is too much, in my opinion, um, because it was only on Zoopla for forty thousand pounds. So the uh, the sell, <laughs> the person selling, got a good deal, right? They got someone, some people caught up in the emotion there. So this one here is the final one. So we had two properties we were looking at. We've ruled out one. This one here, my maximum that I'll go to is around £65,000. Um, so let's look at the, the history here. We've got two minutes left. So probably be four or five minutes before we complete. Um, 
There's a few people bidding on this, so bidder four, he seems quite keen, or she, he or she seems quite keen on that. Um, so let's just see how that goes. So let's see. I haven't put a bid in yet, because if you put a bid in too early, they're just going to bid you up right um and so it's a little bit it's a little bit like ebay on steroids right so i'm gonna put a bid in now just because i've never bid with these guys and i just want to see how long it takes just in case there's a lag um so let's bid so we're gonna bid sixty thousand pounds should we do it aj should we do it i'm scared let's do it Woo! we're in we're the highest bidder we've got one minute left i don't think we'll win that I don't think we'll win at that. I think it's going to go up um, again. Bidder four, he wants it. Bidder number four, he's coming back in now. You know he is. So we've got 50 seconds left. Um, and we're the highest bidder right now. So let's take a picture of that. So this property is going to be with my daughter. Those of you that are following along on this channel. Um, and so if you got to this video and got to the end, um, then let me know. In the chat what do you think this will go on so this is going to be on youtube so on if you're watching this on youtube in the comments like we've done on the other auctions so far have a guess even though we'll get the result in a minute and you can fast forward and cheat but play along with me here and remember it helps me with the youtube algorithm and gets me some engagement comment below what do you think this is going to sell for i think it's going to sell for 64. i think we've got 15 seconds left Someone bidder four is going to come back in with another bit bid, isn't he? Um, or not? We got five seconds, three seconds, two, one second. Shit, we've just bought a house. <laughs> I think. Congratulations. Oh dear. Now I've got to go and get some money. Um, I've got to pay for that. So wow, we've just bought a house for sixty thousand pounds. Um, <laughs> so. Amazing, 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 amazing. Um, so do follow along on this YouTube channel. Do subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I'm going to show you my journey, how I took £3,000 and turned it into a million property portfolio. And that's a real million. That doesn't include the house that I live in. I only count the assets that I actually own. So that's an asset that I've got there. Um, so one million pounds, I did that with three thousand um, pounds, and this journey will be also showing you how this year we plan to plan to add another one million pounds in properties just this year. I'm doing this with myself, so my assets, but also my children. So I have two girls. I've got Emily, who is one years old, so we're looking to buy her her first property this year at one. Right, we're going to show you how we do that with a limited company structure, make her a shareholder and structure all of that legally so she can inherit that property. In fact, I will take that on for her and she will take it over from me. And also my daughter Georgia as well, who's 21. Uh, so this is her house. This is Georgia's first house. Um, me and her have got this together. So do join us on this journey. Do smash the like button, guys. It's been an hour that we've been with you here today. Uh, so please, please, please do smash the like button. Comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm also going to show you the journey when we get the keys to this property, when we go and do the renovations in there as well. We're going to show you around and everything as well. So it's really, really exciting. Um, that's it from me. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now. I'm I was